Hello chess friends. In the last video we had seen land mover or ladder checkmate. In case if you have missed it, please do watch it first to understand the concept. I'll be posting solutions for those two problems here before starting today's puzzle. Stay tuned till the end of the video to see few more awesome puzzles. Alright, here's the first puzzle we saw last time. Why to move here? In case you have not solved this, please pause the video right now to solve this problem. Okay, I think you have solved the problem. Now uh, let's go to the solutions now. So white plays bishop into f7 check, sacrificing another piece. So black has two options here, either capturing the rook or capturing the bishop. Uh, seems like most uh, valuable solution. So let's see what happens if he tries to capture the bishop king into f7 So now white plays queen into g7 check King moves to e8 and white plays rook h8 check The only thing black can do is either block the check with bishop or knight So black plays knight g8 Rook into g8 check, bishop into g8, queen into g8 checkmate. So, black plays here king into h7. This is the theme of our puzzle. So, white plays rook h1 check. So, friends, as you can see, the queen covers this file and rook covers this file. So, black can play bishop h3 rook into h3 and bishop h6 rook into h6 checkmate this is the second puzzle we saw last time why to move here if you have not solved this problem or thought about this please take a minute to see through all the variations here pause the video right now all right let's try to solve this problem so white plays bishop into g7 Black captures bishop and white plays a brilliant move here. Knight f5 check. It's a very good combination here. And black has a couple of options here. Either moving the king to g8 or either moving the king to h8 or capturing the knight. So if king tries to move to h8, then queen into h6 check. King g8, queen g7 checkmate. If black plays king g8, Again, queen into h6, queen into e5, queen into g6 check. It's a winning game for white. So let's see the theme of the puzzle. If black captures the knight, g into f5. So white plays g into f5 check and king plays h7. So guys, now there's an interesting sacrifice here. If you look carefully, White has very good move here. Queen into h6 check. A very good application of a lawnmower mate. So black has to capture king into queen and rook d3. So black can't avoid uh, the rook h3 checkmate. So black can try to save the game by playing queen e7. Again rook h3 check, queen h4 and rook into h4 checkmate. Let's see another example now. So today's theme is a different kind of mating pattern and this is a famous game by the first world chess champion. Black to move in this position and black plays brilliant move. Pause the video right now and try to find the solution for this problem. Black to move. Alright, I hope you guys have found the solution. Now. Let's see what black plays here. Black plays a brilliant move here. Queen h4, threatening queen into h2, checkmate. It's a wonderful queen sacrifice. So white has two options here, either taking the rook or capturing the queen. Since there is a checkmate on h2, white captures the queen. So here comes the next mating pattern. It's called Arabian checkmate. 
Rook G1 checkmate. So a Rook check supported by a Knight is called as an Arabian checkmate. We are going to see a few more problems of this. Friends, this is the first example. Black to move here and remember the Arabian mate pattern and try to solve this puzzle. Pause the video and try to solve this puzzle. Right. Now let's look at the second example. White to move here and it's the same thing Arabian mate. Try to solve this puzzle. I will try to answer this problem in the next video. Thank you.